For question number seven, you're given the output of two independent means. And specifically, we want to know if you can answer questions about the confidence interval. And now looking at the confidence interval right here, we want to know what the margin of error is. And this confidence interval goes from negative 1.4648 to negative 7.3752. The margin of error is half the length of the interval. So all we need to do is take the two numbers, subtract them from each other, get the distance, and then divide that distance by two. And there's lots of ways to do this. We could also figure out the difference from the middle of the interval, which is the difference all the way to the upper. We could figure out the difference from the difference to the lower. And all you're doing is just figuring half the length because the difference is in the middle of the interval. So all these ways of doing the margin of error will get you the same exact answer. And you can check your answer by taking the difference plus or minus the margin of error, and you should get the upper and the lower of your confidence interval. But now the more difficult question is to figure out the T statistic. Now to figure out the T statistic, you will need to do a little bit of math right here. You're given pretty much everything though. You know the standard error of the differences, and you also know the difference. And you know the margin of error. With that in mind, take everything you have and plug it in. We can solve it two easy ways. We can say that the difference minus the T statistic times the standard error is equal to lower, or we can say that the difference plus the T statistic times the standard error is the upper. So let's go ahead and solve it either way here by plugging in our numbers. And you'll notice all we need to do is plug in our upper confidence limit and our lower confidence limit, and we can then plug in the difference that we observed, and then we have the T statistic, and then we have the standard error of the differences. And this is once again our formula that we've been using that is on our formula page. So although we do not know the T statistic here, we can figure out the answer. And one important thing to note is that this is a 95% confidence interval. Although we didn't give you the sample size, if the sample size is large, it will be closer to 1.96. So knowing that you get two tells you, and this seems to be about right. If you had gotten something below 1.96, your answer would be wrong because the T is always greater than the Z. So once again, just a little check on your work right there, since the T is always greater than the Z, we would have to get an answer of 1.96 or greater for this to be even plausible. And 2.0086 is a very plausible answer, and it is the right answer.